So now that we've turned on the editing function, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and edit a button. So I'm going to tap on menu in the top right hand corner and you'll see then I get a small menu that comes up and I'm going to click on edit page. And the top of my page turns red and that's just a cue to me that I'm in the editing menu. Any of the uh, buttons that are here, we can go ahead and make edits to. We can either edit the button that's already there. We can also add a button. So for example, um, on the right hand side, we have sister, but I might want to change that to my sister's name. So I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to say edit this button. And now I have my editing menu. My editing menu it does go a little bit further down so you can swipe and see what's additional there. We have button label and the button label is what you're going to see on the button or in the square in the in the app. Button message can be different. So it could say sister, but then the button message could say something like my sister's name is Maureen. Um, alternately, I can also make the button label say my sister's name. So it can say Maureen or it can say Margaret. Um, whatever your sister, if your child has a sister, whatever their name is. Um, so I can just go ahead and change it. So I'm going to change it. Uh, my sister's name is Maureen. So I'm going to use that. And you'll see then it changes both the button label and the button message. If I'm not sure how it's going to sound, I can say pronounce. Maureen. Maureen. Um, if I had a name that it wasn't pronouncing correctly in the button message, I might want to go ahead and put it in kind of phonetically. That will help it say it correctly. And then I can check it there. I can go to select image, and if I just go to search here, it's gonna search the, the pictures that are available in the app. So I could search girl, if I want to search a girl that looks more like my sister. Um, and so let's say I think this one looks more like her, this girl in the yellow dress, and then I can change it. I can also add an image um, that I've taken. So if I have a picture of my sister and I wanna add it, I can say import image and I can do image library or camera. Camera's gonna allow me to take a picture, so if my sister's in front of me and I wanna take a picture of her, I can do that. If I already have a picture of her saved, I can go to image library, and then it's just gonna pull up my photos. My photos are gonna be kind of silly, um, as you guys can see. So I have uh, some things here, Brewpoint. I had a student who um, was working at Brewpoint, and so I was able to put in Brewpoint for them, so I can choose that, and I can say use. And then you'll see that was the image that we put in his message for him. If I scroll a little bit further down, I can do other things like change the font size. I can change the color of the button. Um, I can change the, uh, what else? I can change what the button does. Um, but I think really for, for now, staying in these top few um, areas where we're changing either the button label and or the message, um, and then changing pictures is probably where we're going to want to stay there. Um, so I'm going to hit cancel. I'm not going to save that change for me. Um, when I have things like the home button here in the top left hand corner, I want to make sure that I'm not editing those. Um, and as I will talk about on, on other slides that we have here, this front page, we don't want to really edit any of this at all. Um, this is what's taking us um, into the device to the different pages that we need. So the things that we would be editing would be things like people, um, we can do places, under social, you could maybe add some other things that your child or your family might say. Um, when we go into groups, this is where you're going to have a lot of options to do some customization if you want to. So for example, if I go into the food tab, I might want to change some of these things here to either things that my child likes um, or things that you know we might eat as a family. I can go into the specific meals up at the top and add some of those things. Um, um, so for example, in my house, my one of my kids is allergic to peanut butter, so that would be something that if this was her device, we probably wouldn't put it on there. Um, but in the social page, we might have something that says, you know, I'm allergic to peanut butter or something like that. Um, and so that's what we're uh, what we do with editing a button.